Shalom, shalom, Akim. All right, back at you. Another lesson through the power and the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakah Kodash, double on the sword, the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. And yes, the house of David is rising. So, let's go straight in, man. Psalms 124 and 2 says, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. So yeah, man, this is um, the song of a decree of David. Talking about the enemies. The enemies are trigger happy. The enemies are eager. The enemies want to get, swallow us up. Yeah? David again from the top songs of decree of david if it had not been the lord who was on our side now ma, now may israel say if it had not been the lord who was on our side when men rose up against us then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us so yeah you got these trigger happy enemies the ease the ease and the goyim nations yeah the main culprit is the ease that are trigger happy. And I was just um wanna tie it in with this for now. But there's a whole lot of examples we could use, but this is one of the latest ones. Ralph Yeo. Uh, black teen shot and shot at doorstep after ringing wrong doorbell. You see him there, he's a, he, he was what you call um a music a young prodigy, a young music genius. See him there flexing his little um, his saxophone. And um, there's so many examples I could use, but this is the freshest one right now off the press. The Amet Tills, in one of my videos I did, you know, um, just there's, um, there's a load of Amet Tills. The Truth According to the Bible, that was the title of it. The Truth According to the Bible. You know, I went in on, on a couple of examples. You got the Amet Tills, you got the... Um, the um philip lawrence who died in the 90s he was he was he was a racial murder he died you know um so yeah these are these are things that happen man regarding living in among the enemies you know deuteronomy 28 the curses just read a little bit of it it says ralph ralph yell is a uh is a fanatic kid who plays bass clarinet bass clarinet and his aunt said his aunt said protesters erupted in kansas city missouri over the weekend after a homeowner shot a black teen twice who rang their doorbell by mistake see these people just want to get at you man as david was going in man you know they're just trigger happy they just can't wait to flash their weapons and shoot you and um, Deuteronomy talks about that man you know the enemy with a, a fierce countenance coming from far no regard for the young or for the old so he was 16 was sent by his parents to pick up his brothers from a friend's house on the 30th of April but went to the wrong address but you see he just gives he just lets you know man we're in the time now you know, we know about the Jacob's trouble, uh, Jeremiah uh, 30 and 7. And there's always been Jacob's trouble, but it's just going to get more and more intense and more and more blatant. Let me carry on reading. It says, the suspect, the suspect, uh, Mr. Yell, through his door. The suspect shot Mr. Yell through his door. The teen took one shot in the head, say his family and their, and their lawyers. Well, actually, when you look at other... You hear other um, related witnesses say he was shot twice in the head and he's left there for dead and he tried to um, knock on other door, neighbours' doors and other doors and they wouldn't come to his rescue, they wouldn't aid him. See, this this thing is just pure, you know, it's the enemy, man. We know we're in the behind enemy lines. This is, um, I think he got his wake-up call, man, even though he's, he's 16 years old can't be naive man this is not our rest man you know but this is an example for a lot of other you know people that want to um, 
build their foundation in this place yeah babylon over here in england the mothers of babylon over there in america babylon itself the seat of babylon so yeah he, this doesn't tell the whole story this article from bbc news doesn't tell the whole story there was more to it but i'm going to read what it says here yeah he continues to um yale was released from hospital on sunday let me let me read up police have released the shooter from custody but not identified them mr yale was released from hospital on sunday and he recovering at home with his family his his father paul yale told the kansas city uh, star uh, the kansas city star is another famous guy that was shot and the, the, the other one with the um alabama shooting with the potential footballer who was very popular he was going to be a, um, a famous footballer him and four others were killed in the house party done that video on that yesterday and um 28 were injured so this is not the time to be in the house of mirth you know as i went in on the video that people think that to have fun to be rebellious to be free is fun you know so um better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of mirth at this time this is not we're in we're not in a time of mirth now the time to be getting serious the prophets are out there on the streets man trying to give you a head warning because after after um they were talking about the rebellious people isaiah 30 talking about the rebellious people all the people are all the rebellious people of yashua allah the so-called black people if you're rebellious against the lord you, you, they, you it's not going to be good for you it's going to end bad for you all the rebellious people shall die amos chapters 9 and 10 all the wicked of yashua allah the so-called black people if you're not if you're wicked and you're not hearkening to the lord nobody um nobody dies innocent the rebellious of 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 my people shall die as, as amos said as sad as it is as sad as it may sound it's just the reality of it this this was a cold shooting the enemy came in shot him twice in the head he ran to his neighbors three other doors and they did not open the door to help him uh, eventually he collapsed they wanted him to bleed out there's no mercy he continues to improve his father told his told the paper he is responsive and is making good progress so he hasn't died he hasn't died but he will you know shoots it shot in the head be shot in the head you know that well life and death um belong to that in the hands of the lord but this was a shocking wake-up call so they're protesting right now let's read down if you want to read the whole of it you can you can do so the suspect was taken to police headquarters to provide a statement before being released in missouri a person taken under custody for a felony investigate investigations must be released or charged within 24 hours investigators are looking unto whether or not the suspect this is this is interesting is protected by the stand the state stand your ground laws see so what he's going to say is that he, he felt uh, let's carry on uh grant so uh, suspect is protected the investigators are looking unto whether or not the suspect is protected by the state stand your ground laws which grant people permission to use deadly force if they feel seriously in danger so he's going to say the little 16 year old what his story i've already heard some of it he said it was a six six foot person at his door and he said the guy was trying to break in and he, and he said to him don't come around there this is what his story is we wish we know to ease them they, they ease them the um farmers of lies thinking that they're clever he's gonna come up with a cockball story he said he, he was a six foot guy at, at his door and he said to him don't come around there and the guy was trying to break in and so he felt threatened that's his story he not he's not telling you it here but that's a story i've heard um from around the way 
other other articles and you know people doing their um investigating and there's more 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 gonna come out more more snooze will come out so he was telling the person to go away and he um he felt like the guy was trying to break in so he, he shot but if you put two and two together he opened the door man he saw the guy and he shot him twice in the head see when you put two and two together you know that these people are the formers of lies man the harbingers of death these people are the harbingers of death this guy had an itchy trigger finger he was premeditating it from a long time the serpents the dragon premeditating it from the long time and the dragon represents the the military yeah and you know um ease military and you got the serpent which are the people the serpent people otherwise known as the serpent people otherwise known as the edomites and they got itchy fingers and they have an intense hatred for you yeah and that goes back to um psalms 137 and they said raise it raise it raise it yeah they don't want to open the borders for you guys man they wanted to just get their hands upon you and that the perpetual hatred that's in um is it ezekiel i think it's ezekiel 25 or it might be ezekiel 27 or 35 no i think it's ezekiel 25 the perpetual hatred they have for you they have it anything that any excuse that they get to be able to let off some rounds on you they do that they, they will use it so they're gonna he's he's gonna use um the suspect is protected but so investigators are looking unto whether or not the suspect is protected by the stand your ground laws which grant people permission to use deadly force if they feel seriously in danger he's gonna that's what he's gonna say critics say with such laws uh violate uh fisher fishy officiate violence against black people i'm probably butchering that word but you know uh fis facilitate that's it such laws facilitate violence against black people and we've heard that before with the other with the other young guy that shot up in the one of the protesters his name escapes me right now he went into the protesters the black life protesters and he started shooting and he tried to kill black people but um that's just an excuse he wanted to use stand the strand the stand your ground law i do recognize the racial a component of this case kansas city police chiefs stacy graves said i do recognize and understand the community's concerns and the community response to this particular incident if you're a black woman you might you might understand if you're not then you don't give a they don't give a flying monkeys so there you have it man you know i just wanted to bring some um truth according to the bible because we don't get the truth we get pure lies unadulterated lies from the wicked and they got itchy fingers they were they just any excuse they they use to get at you that's what they they use it this in this case he go and try and use the stand your grand law but even if he finds himself not guilty he, he um he will face justice eventually anyway let's get back to this we are abu ratazar bring out a couple of words if it had not been for the lord who was on our side when men rose up against us so you've got another example of amit till and there's a whole load of amit tills account not unaccounted for not in the mainstream news so-called unsolved crimes in america and over here in england i stated that over here in england and maybe um yeah there's some there's some that are, are maybe are, are maybe new some or knew someone who knew some over here in in um in, in in babylon the mother of babylon yeah because there was times when you had to you you we 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 were chased by national front we were chased by national front and um we had to firm up and unite to fight them off a couple of times i mean i'll tell you i'll list out the whole story i mean i'll tell you everything what happened but if it wasn't for the lord <laughs> if it had not been for the lord who was on our side when men rose up against us then they had then they would have swallowed us up when their wrath was kindled against us uh, stephen lawrence is the example where you know he wasn't under the protection of the lord man most and they swallowed him up killed him 
18 he was 18 when when they got him there was two there was i think there was four of them and two of them got convicted of murder put and they was um put in prison for life the, the there was four um perpetrators um suspects in the stephen lawrence case i think but two was found guilty of killing him and they was convicted of murder but that was all of the spirit it came 19 years later where the parents were happy to get justice after a, after a, um 19 years fight for justice really they wanted to um throw the case out the police officers the met police force wanted to just throw it out and don't didn't want to give it any kind of time at all because it was only a black guy who died and you know there's racism in the force as well, in the police force. And right now the Met Police Force are under investigation, so they say. And there's um one of the latest cases is there's been a rape. I might do a video on that. One of the police officers was um found guilty or is charged of rape, waiting to be sentenced. And there's other cases where police officers have been charged of rape. One of them were charged with um was charged and sentenced with rape um one woman recently was it about a year ago was walking the street and she was um attacked and it was a police officer that did it um got, got the woman's name but um yeah these things happen in the police force so there's racism in the police force so they they're just as racist as a, as a, everybody else they have a hatred a perpetual hatred for you and even against their own people they they're doing all kinds of things crimes and like i say the police force the met police force is being investigated and they um they're saying they're gonna um they're gonna um over a hundred or or more are being um investigated they might be um kicked out but there's a lot of criminals or police officers with criminal records that that shocked me that did a lot of police officers with violence on their criminal record and they're, and they're still allowed to be police officers. So these are the enemy, what King David was talking about. The ease, and a lot of them have badges today. See? That's why you have to be circumspect, man, right now. When they had, then they had swallowed up us up quick, which means they would have liked to have just got their dirty, filthy, smelly, dirty, stinking hands on us if they could. When their wrath was kindled against us. And yeah, if you ain't protected of the Lord, you are effed. If you ain't protected of the Lord, like, just like some of the examples we're showing now, you're finished. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The streams had gone over our souls if you wasn't protected of the Lord. Then the proud waters had gone over our souls. Uh, but for the Lord, blessed be the Lord who have not given us as prey to their teeth. Yeah, their teeth is their power. So you've got a lot of police officers with a badge, which means they have a authority, a measure of authority and power, and they're abusing it. And we just saw the example of the, the young 16-year-old just, that just got shot in the head twice for knocking on the wrong door. Their teeth is their weapons, their power, their gift, their guns, and all the things that they like to use. In, that includes the kitchen sink. They want to do everything, man. If they have, if they have the most, I allows them to. Our souls is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is the name of the Lord who make heaven and earth. That's our help. Let's just check this word, word out. Let's check it, check it out. Escape. Because, yes, yeah, the most High that has delivered us. And we all have stories that we can tell of we how we've been delivered. Remember, we are over here in Babylon, the mother of Babylon, behind enemy lines. Escaped. Strong's H, 4422. Malat. Malat. Yeah, so we were delivered. Escaped. Delivered, safe. Be delivered. So most I delivered us, man. And I can I can talk about the, the times, how many times he's delivered me. I can talk about the ones that he's done that I'm aware of. But um, I'm I'm just thinking in the spirit now. 
there's probably a whole lot of times when he delivered me then that I, I wasn't even aware of it yeah uh, my brother gave a good example he said um there's times when you feel like you should go, you want to go somewhere and for some reason you change your mind you don't go and that's the that could have been the spirit of the lord intervening for your for your protection if something might have happened if you if you insisted on doing it or going a certain place something may have happened most high has escaped he's delivered us times when we're aware of and times when we haven't been aware of so this case here this guy his name again ralph yule the black teen that was shot at, at, for ringing the wrong doorbell this is goes back to the curses it goes back to deuteronomy is a, is a let's go back to deuteronomy because um people people try and say we're not under the curses even up to the even today even when, after things like this listen man these are reminders these are cold reminders that we're still behind enemy lines and we're intensely hated the perpetual the perpetual perpetual hatred is very strong with these people uh, Jeremiah 28, um, Deuteronomy 28 and 49 says, The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle. And we know that we went and spoke a bit about that in one of my videos. The eagle represents them. That's their banner. That's their badge. Their badge of honor. That's what they like to, you, you know, that's their... um their representative if you like or their um their, that's what that's their flag man their banner that's their banner yeah the eagle which the the, the, the proud eagle and um you know they put that on the, a lot of their that's the yeah, the word is symbol right they put that, that their symbolism that's the that's on their flags a lot of the, on the little their symbolisms the eagle the proud eagle that soars very high you know and um they they want to say that they're the eagle yeah and also the owl as well the owl represents um, wisdom, and they um, they believe that they, the the owl is very stealth and it sees in the dark, and um, they they see themselves as um, the Illumi illuminati, which um, which means to be illuminated. They have the truth, so they that's another one of their symbols. The owl, which on the left hand side, yeah, that is their symbol that represents wisdom, and um, they bow that they bow down to a, a statue. Um, in um, um the, where's that place called? Uh, car, uh, yeah, yeah, the place escapes me, but there's a massive owl. The name of the place escapes me, but there's a massive. But Bohemian Grove, there's a massive owl. That's where it is. In some place, um, some hi hiding out place where they go, and there's a lot of so-called conspiracy theories on them, which they're not conspiracy theories. Um, people have come out, whistleblowers have come out and spoken what goes on there. And they just make jokes about it. But it's very real. Bohemian Grove when there's a massive owl. Where they sacrifice, you know, children to it. It might sound laughable, but it's very true. <laughs> it's going to be, all this is going to come out. The truth has to be revealed according to Daniel's chapter 12, man. The truth will come out. All of the truth. So that's another one of their symbols. You've got the, the owl as well. You've got the eagle. You've got the owl. And they bow down to it in Bohemian Grove. They put sacrifices on it, and they sacrifice a, a lot of jakes, but um, children basically. Yeah. So, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as an eagle, fly. Because they, yeah, they, 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 they were quick. And that guy, when he shot, um, when he shot that young guy. Which we, we know now was a he was a Edomite, a straight Edomite that shot him. He didn't hesitate, he was quick about it, man. I'm just <laughs> I'm just saying. They 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 like to do it quick. They do their thing quick, man. They bring vengeance, man. And you know, it's all the spirit of the Lord anyway, like judgment, man. But sad sadly, it's just what it is. Most are, he's gonna he's got many ways how you know there there will be more. That's just the reality. There will be more of Jacob's trouble, man. He has to prophecy has to be fulfilled. This is just prophecy. And they um he says, which shall not regard the person of the young or the old. It's, in this case 16 years old. And um how old was um Emmett Till? Emmett Till was about twelve, round about. 
some something to that effect 12 or 13 or and um Stephen Lawrence over here in England the one that died in them um, in the 90s around 92 he was 18 when he was killed it was cold cold killing so the person of the old nor show favor to the young so no people don't don't care how old or young they are and there's a lot of stories of, of old people being treated as uh, a certain ways too in old people's homes you know um you got the wind rush where my parents generation was treated very bad over here when they came over here they was um tempted to come over here because they was told the streets were paved with gold and they was gullible and um they had they thought they were going to improve their lives by coming over and slaving there was actually light it was a cold straight light to build up after the post um second world war to build up the the, the, the mashup mash up houses the block down place the place was mash up and block down and yeah our parents taught these edomites how to wash them nasty self they taught them how to wash there was work there was working cleaning up the houses house cleaners cleaning a lot of all them um undesirable jobs they was doing them and they was teaching them how to wash teaching them how to bathe them nasty skin look that up that's documented too teaching them how to wash well a lot of them a lot of people try and hide that but these people are these edomites them nasty nasty up to this day you got grunge and they take pride in saying we don't have baths you understand they take pride in it man so they was taught how to wash me not, me not like them man them nasty yeah and uh, from what I've seen as well them nasty I was brought up around them yeah if you if you ever if you've ever been in care you would know how, about the how them people them is nasty them nasty so that uh, so yeah our parents generation taught them how to wash them nasty skin you understand yeah and he shall not eat their fruit or so there you have it man the nation of a fierce countenance which shall not regard the person of the old nor show favor to the young and shall yeah, let me let me read this to you and shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land until they be destroyed because yeah they are they are very very parasites they're parasites blood suckers sucker puffs if you let them if you let them leech onto you they'll bleed you dry and that's what they've done to um the wind rush generation bleed them out dry take all their energy and whatever else they had to offer and then wanted to send them back to where they came from the islands without nothing and, they, and they're fighting up to this day there's a big um protest now uh, um it's like they want to get people's um what they call it when they um they get signatures to, to um try and fight the fact that um um and get compensation for the way they were treated the wind rush generation they still want to try and fight to get them home send them back to their to their you know where they which a lot of them were born here or was brought over here when they was very young so they class this as their their land their their um their upbringing they they don't class this as um they class this as their home but they're trying to get them you know um the older generation the so-called older generation is still trying to send them back so there's a petition what they um what they're trying to do now to, to um to, to drop it which you got the which these people as as i say here as it says there they're very very cold they have no regard for the young or for the old yeah, hence the wind rush what they're trying to send them back they they begged them to come over here and lied and said all kinds of lies to get them to come over here to build up their nasty dirty smelly country and now they want to send them back home with nothing so there's a petition against that so just to hit that point there, they don't have no respect for the young or the old. And let's jump down to um, 2066 of Deuteronomy 28. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thy thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have no assurance of thy life. Yeah, these are the curses. These are very real. That example we just had there, after he got shot, it was, it was a wake-up call. And that just reminds us again, this is what it was like in the 50s. It was more blatant in the in the 50s and the 60s. And they, they don't need they didn't need no standing grand law. 
just say I didn't like them, you know, they, they just they just showed it outright, hatred, want to get rid of you, they didn't need no, now he's going to say this stand your ground law is in fear, them days they didn't need none of that, now that's just in a, 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 another uh, means in which they can take their anger out on you and say yeah I was, I was in fear for my life, the, the, I was, the, the man was trying to break into my house, we can see he wasn't no six foot man, see he was a, a 16 year old boy, shot him twice in the head, so this is a wake up call doubt before thee and thou shalt fear day and night and shall have no assurance of thy life now you know that guy's is he going to be if he does recover that 16 year old teenager if he does recover he will, he's going to have trauma he's going to be suffering from trauma and a lot of jake are suffering from trauma you know what they call it um the curses passed down generational curses and that's why you have certain bug outs, what they call bug outs. They're just suffering from trauma. They haven't been um, debriefed. But, you know, the debriefing will come. It's going to come from Yashua Allah, man, anyway. So, here's another example of the curses. Deuteronomy 28. Ralph Yell, black teen shot off at doorstep for ringing wrong door. Door, for ringing wrong doorbell. Another example of the curses. You can't make this up. The truth of the Bible is real. And if it wasn't for the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yoshua, we just looked in Deuteronomy, the curses are very real. Back to the top again. And we're going to end the video. The Song of Decree of David. Yeah, and he had a lot of enemies too. The Most High delivered him from all his enemies. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quickly when their wrath was kindled against us. So it was all through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Hashim our, our, our souls escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler, Abaratazar, we continue to endure and continue to serve him. In sincerity and in truth, we're gonna deliver us, man. Right from the from the snares of the fowler, the snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So our snare, they say in snares, but the most sized delivered us. Up to this point, Abaratazar, he continued to deliver us. We serve him in sincerity and truth. Ultimately. The elect are protected from the Most High. Abaratazar, we, we're all in that number. We go in and endure to the end. So, the water to Yahweh Shem put on the spirit on me to do this video. Yes, the house of David is rising and everything the wicked have done to us, past, present and future, is falling <coughs> upon their own head. Here you have it. Truth of the Bible, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. It's on to the next shallow arm to the next one.